Tom Quinn, yes. And you're here. with? Lunera Lighting. Tell me what Lunera Lighting is doing. This is a series of LEDs. So this you, is the light? This is it. How do I get that screwed into my, my light fixture? So we're changing a, a, an existing industry from an analog-based technology to a digital technology. So yeah. it's more of a system level approach than a light bulb approach. So I just don't replace the light. I have to replace the whole system. The rule of thumb of a traditional fluorescent fixture is drawing about 100 watts of energy per fixture. Yeah. And we replace that today with a 50 watt fixture. So we're able half. to cut it in half. We've got some designs that we've put in place that will allow for our customers to upgrade the LEDs after they've installed the fixture. Sort of like pulling out the old hard drive and putting in a better one. Huh? Great analogy. Okay. Really Got perfect. It. Got so, it. Very cool. So we're really trying to deliver a, a compelling value proposition around the economic story of saving right. energy, right. right? which is good from a sustainability perspective, but also right. good from an economic perspective. And then say, as it gets better, because the technology is going to get better, let's have a path to continue to capture even more savings. you got to tell me what the economics is. Um, what kind of payback? Convenience store. Right. In that kind of environment, we could easily see a two-year or less payback. Because the industrial environment uses an awful lot of energy, of yeah. course, and they use a lot in lighting, and partially because they use a technology called metal halide. Right. Those lamps are typically drawn upwards of 450 watts per lamp. Right. You can replace that with 60 or 70 watts of power. Wow. replace 450 watts. I'm constantly hearing quality of light. We're able to replicate light at about uh, daylight at about 85 percent. Well, I've got a lot of friends in the construction industry. Yeah, uh, they're starving. Is this is this something they can sell? There's a lot of times the contractors are a little bit uncomfortable with. Well, I don't really understand how to sell payback, or I don't really understand how to sell the technology. We do that for them. Oh, so you do. We have tools that we use. Yeah. To be able to capture a particular application's design and do calculations around what we're going to save a customer, put it together in a proposal for a, for a contractor to go ahead and deliver to a customer and say, if you do this, here's what you can expect from us. So payback. they do an audit, figure out what's in the wall, or the ceiling rather, uh, shoot that to you, out comes the proposal. The proposal. That does the payback. And they take it, oh, it's all the work done. They Everything's done. They just show up and say, here's the story, do you like it? We can put together quite often a proposal for a customer that's zero out of pocket up front. I like that includes the cost of materials, cost of installation, cost of the project, let's say. Right. Uh, so no out-of-pocket, and we can show cash flow positive day one. After the five years, you know, the life of these products can be upwards of 12 to 15 years. It's all upside. So the ROI... Do they own it after the five yes, years? Yes, it rolls out. At day so it's all theirs. It's theirs. It's theirs. What else can these lights do? Let's talk about occupancy sensing, right? Yes. Fine, we can walk in and the lights turn on and off based on motion. Very we can cool. talk about daylight harvesting, where the lights adjust based on the ambient light coming in from the outdoor, right? Adding sensor capability to every one of our fixtures in a, in a data center application, being able to sense for heat, to do thermal imaging, because that has there's a correlation to reliability of sure. Yeah. You don't want to get too hot, equip right? Equipment, right. Uh, we were able to sense for particulates in the air, which also has effect on the reliability of a... Wow. So it's kind of... That's a major issue. In, indoor air quality is a big deal. First step is becoming this digital platform, and then the ability to add more value to it with controls right. is a natural extension.